I've yeah. heard your stuff before. Oh, oh yeah, so uh, can you, on the when the 18s go out of the room, please? I'm on his joke. And, and ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a bit about how long you've been writing, what's the latest well, success? Well, um, I've been writing since April 1996, I've been published since November 1996. My first poem was called Ode to Alanis, about Alanis Morissette, and it was in uh, the Pill Fanzine about her. Uh, that's quite rare now, so you can get your hands on it. And um, I'm doing a book with a writer, Andy Nicholson, and it's called uh, Europa, the Dark Volley Between the World Wars, and it's about women and men in warfare or difficult situations, and it's got World War I poems, World War II, prisons of war. Uh, there's a Manchester girl who ended up in uh, one of the death camps and died. There's also stuff about um, an Iranian girl called Nida who was murdered all so over the old. So it's going to be very really appropriate stuff this year, all years. Of course. Yeah. <coughs> well, then. Uh, Nick Armbrister. Right. This is my new book. Right. It's called Well Tattooing My Butt. <laughs> and uh, I've got, I, I'm full of tattoos, you know, hence the t shirt and the tattoos. I've got people's names on my backside. They say, I give you five, they have it done. Right. I get the tattoos for free, I actually buy beer. I get like six cans of beer uh, with it, so I have a free drink on them. I don't tell them that, though. Hey, don't come up to me with a fiver because you know what I'll do with it, no? <laughs> right. This poem, if someone's, if someone's not nice to you, you know, whatever, they steal your car or, I don't know, kick your dog, what do you want to do to them? Well, if you could do this to them, who would do it to them? You'll find out what it is. It's called Abyssal Edge. Don't you think the edge of the world is a wonderful and terrifying place? At no other place can you see such a defined end and beginning. Our world ends and the void begins. Now, if it was allowed and you could get away with it, who would you hurl into that void? Chucking them off the edge of the world. How divine. A poetical end to your enemies. Imagine the laws of karma didn't apply, that you're doing the world a favour. Myself, I have a long list of people who were execute. They would think long and hard about their crimes while falling off the edge of the world. No one would save them and they would fall forever. No mercy smacking into the ground. Thank you.